Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Frank. So, have you ever taken video on your iPhone or on your Android device and wondered how can I get that great video onto my computer so that I can share it and so that I can edit it? It's always been a bit of a challenge for me, but in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. We're going to take advantage of this mobile device that I can move around, take all sorts of video, and then get that video onto my computer so that I can put it into my class, share it with my students, and edit it or do whatever I need to do with it. So let's take a look at that right now. So there's no doubt that with each generation of iPhone or Android device that comes out, we get better quality video and we get better quality photos. The problem is they're trapped. They're trapped on this device and I want them on my PC. So one way that I can transfer the files is I can push everything up to a cloud service, such as Microsoft OneDrive, Dropbox, or iCloud. And then I can download those video files onto my computer here where I can then go and edit them. The only problem is I'm going to be limited by the bandwidth that I have going to the cloud and coming from the cloud. And to be honest, it's a little bit of a hassle. What I can do instead is by installing a little application on here and by installing the corresponding desktop application here on my Windows machine, what I'm going to be able to do is either through a cable or through a wireless connection on my home network, I'm going to be able to transfer the files directly to my computer and then I'll be able to work with those video files so that I can edit them. So no matter what application you decide to use for filming video or taking photos, you're going to want to be able to transfer those photos onto your computer. In my case, I work with my iPhone, I use Mac computers, but I also use a Windows computer where I like to go in and do my film editing. So I have a first light application for photography. I have my Filmic Pro for video and a Filmic remote where I can use a two camera setup where I can control my phone from my iPad or vice versa. That, those deserve their own video. What I want to talk about here is underneath photo and video, I have a neat little application called Transfer Pro. And Transfer Pro will allow me to set up a connection between my iPhone and my computer, either a Windows or a Mac system, and transfer those large video files over in a fairly quick manner. I can do it through my wireless network if I have a high-speed wireless network or even a low-speed wireless network, or I can transfer it by having the cable directly plugged in from my iPhone to my computer. The nice thing about this is that I don't have to go into the cloud and then come back down from the cloud. So what I'm doing is a direct connection between my device and my computer to transfer those large files. Let's go over to the computer and have a look and see what it looks like over there. So I've installed it on my iPhone and I also have the desktop application called Simple Transfer. So when I go in here, it's going to go to Find Device, and you'll notice that it recognizes my iPhone through the wireless network. My iPhone's name is YoYoDyne Labs. And then when I click on there, it'll give me an identification code that I need to put in. This is displayed on my phone. So I'll just put in the code, and that code changes every time. I can then go in, and I can choose to go into my videos. You can see that I have a number of videos that are located on my phone. It's actually pulling even from the iPhone library. And if I go into my newest videos, scroll up to the top here, you can see that I've taken some photos from a walk that I took yesterday. So let's just take a few of these photos, or not photos, videos. I'm going to choose those, and I'm going to download those to my computer. I can choose my download folder. I can bring them in the original format, a MOV file or an MP4. And the reason I can choose all of these uh, video formats is because I chose to purchase the pro version of the application from the iTunes store. If I go here, I can delete it after download. I can overwrite an existing file. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring this into uh, maybe the original format just right now. So I'm, I can go MP4. It doesn't really matter. I'll go MP4. And I'll go ahead and download this. Selecting my download folder, I'm just going to go into my desktop I'll create a new folder and I'll just call this video demo. So we'll call it video demo. And we'll go ahead and create that folder. I'll select that folder. And now I'll download those three videos. And you can see they're coming over quite quickly. Now these videos were shot in high definition. 
and you can see that it's a 22 second to 20 second and 11 second video. You can do longer ones as well, of course. It just takes a little bit more time. But for the sake of this demo, I wanted to have a couple of shorter videos. But you can see they come over uh, quite a lot of uh, files coming over really quick and converts it over to H.264 format, which gives me the most flexibility in my editing software. And that's how easy it is to transfer files from my iPhone over to my computer. You can show those files. Go in here, you can see if I double click on it, opens up in the default application. And there's my video ready for me to bring it into an editor and start editing that file in whatever editor that I want to. So I found this to be extremely helpful after a bit of time struggling with figuring out how to do this. So to summarize the process, all you need to do is download Transfer Pro from the App Store, go to your PC or Mac, Go to the website they provide you and download the corresponding desktop application. Start it on your iPhone, start it on your computer, and transfer videos to your heart's content. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want more tips, hit subscribe. And if you want to watch more of my videos that I've created before, there they are for you. Thanks again for watching. Take care.